You're watching Telecom TV. We are joining from Future Net World 2024 in London. Now I'm delighted to be joined by Mabel Pouls Fenoir, Global Head of Digital and Zero Touch Operations at the Vodafone. Hi Mabel, thank you for joining us today. Hi, thank you for inviting me here. So first, tell us more about your role at Vodafone. I'm part of uh, the networks team in uh, Vodafone. So I have the digital and zero touch operations. Within network operations, we have a vertical uh, looking at autonomous networks for operations, working with the other verticals to see how we get into the right autonomous uh, network level. So uh, we do that across uh, you know, our footprint. So it's a vertical group function that we do that across uh, our European market. As automation, I assume, is growing in importance for Vodafone. Can you share more about your challenges and your goals in terms of automating the network? Okay, so let me start with the goals uh, and then we come to the challenges afterwards. So, uh, so in Vodafone, our goal is to reach you know, towards what we call zero touch operations. So as much as automation as possible, and you might have heard of the level of autonomy, eh? So uh, we believe that different areas and domains will have a different level of autonomy. Um, and we're looking at how we can make autonomous networks, both for the fixed as well as the mobile uh, technologies. So our goal is to reach zero touch uh, operations across uh, our technologies, across the different domains as well, the access, the transport, the core, the services domain, um, and across our footprint. Uh, um, in addition to that, one of the goals to get into that, the neighbors for that, are uh, very much uh, uh, related you know, to the technologies that you bring. And we heard today a lot about those enablers, you know, the data, the AIs, the Gen AIs, uh, but also the software development and how networks is moving towards software development. Um, but the other super important part is the people and the processes. So uh, it is super important that we actually change the way that we do things. We uh, upskill our teams you know, to be able to bring with the new technologies autonomous networks and bring autonomous networks in the legacy technologies as well. And then least but uh, not uh, last is the processes. So, we're seeing with the new technologies like SDN, 5Gs, Open RAN, a lot of autonomous comes, you know, embedded with a lot of continuous integration and continuous deployment part of it. So super essential that we also change our processes and the way that we uh, do uh, technology. And with that goal, uh, so our goal is, you know, to create a uh, networks of the futures by uh, bringing our autonomous levels uh, of you know, towards zero touch. Um, and the challenges we see, again, very much related to the pillars that I just mentioned. Technology, we see a lot of really, really good progress, both from the network as well as on the IT domains uh, with Gen AI. Uh, so we don't see that as a, as, a, as a main challenge. You know, data quality is one of them. Um, but also we see uh, the challenge, you know, the, you know, the culture effect, right? So how we bring uh, our organization along, you know, to make that change. Uh, so digital is a transformation and this is uh, what I will say, one of um, our main challenges as an industry. You mentioned data quality. How do you try to make the data as clean as possible and to, to get the best actionable insights based on it? So uh, we have a very uh, a strong uh, strategy and we partnered with Google you know, to build the data lake and to make sure that we have uh, uh, all the data uh, for the different markets in a common place. Uh, what we see is that there is areas where the data is more curated and, and, and the quality is higher. Um, the areas that we need to enhance, you know, the data is the areas where uh, we probably haven't used the data before and we haven't experimented with the data. So we see that it's both. Um, uh, it's a, an education to us, you know, to make sure that the people who insert data, who use data, keep data clean. But also we see new technologies that help us uh, uh, to make sure that we purify data uh, in that aspect. So it's both in terms of how do we ourselves uh, 
uh, use the data and you know make it uh, relevant and better quality as well as how we use technologies you know to do that uh, puration and, and clean the quality of, of those sitting um, taking pictures you know we were talking earlier on, on inventory home for telco is one of the key areas where data is not that purify and how we can take different data inputs you know, to make sure that, that the data quality gets better. And so how would you monetize the data going forward once it is clean and uh, of great quality? We, we see different uh, aspects. So uh, one of the key things that we see is that it is super essential that we use the data internally, that we use it to do the things uh, to improve our customer performance, you know, to do a, a better efficiency. And we have already experimented that uh, in our areas internally. Um, and now we're in a position to also monetize that, so to help our enterprise or to put at the disposition of our users data that will help them to have a better service or in the case of enterprises to create new uh, uh, areas of business for them. So I will say we're looking at both internally how we create those products and then how we can expose those products to our uh, partners, customers uh, uh, to monetize uh, that data. Um, in the IoT space, you know, we see with some of the enterprises in healthcare, in logistics, the data is quite valuable for them to manage their business and to simplify their business, but also to offer to the ultimate customer, if they're doing B2B to B2C, uh, all that parts. That's all very interesting. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.